Okay, hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to look at uh, 9.2 angles. Okay, so uh, we've roughly finished like the front part of the angles where we talk about how do we write our angles. Okay, so we can write it as angle X or like angle ABC or ABC with the B at the head at the B because the angle is over here at point B. Okay, so yeah, same thing also B is in the middle because this angle is over here in at point B. So you can write this as A, B, C, angle A, B, C, or you can write this as C, B, A, also can. Okay, now next, uh, we went through different types of angle, different classes of angles. So that was what we did the other time, and how do we measure angles on the projector? Okay, so today, we will need to look at what we did in primary school actually. So this one, okay, this uh, knowledge that we're going to learn today uh, is actually, um, yes, a repeat of the primary school. So uh, we go on to page 6 over here. Okay, so over here, we are going to look at two things. Number one, angles along a straight line. Number two, angles at a point. Okay, now, so this one, these two are very important things uh, that we need to take note. Okay, angles along a straight line. So the name for this, um, okay, we call this thing theorem, uh, theorem or theory. Okay, we call this name these things right theorem. Okay, or actually theory. Okay, theorem or theory meaning uh, it is a statement, a uh, statement or a property. Uh, okay, we call this the angle property. So here we have angles along a straight line. Okay, and the other one on the next page is actually angles at the point, two things. Okay, alright, so number one. Now, angles along a straight line is, now if you have a straight line, all the angles over here is actually half of a circle, correct? So half of a circle is just 360 degrees. So here, the sum of the adjacent angles on straight line is uh, 180 degrees. So half of 360, 180 okay so what does it means is uh, okay let's say we have angle a and b right so this angle a okay plus this angle b is going to give me 180 degrees okay so if you want to look for angle a we just take 180 minus b if you want to look for angle b we just take 180 minus a okay now same thing let's say even if we have three or more angles right we just need to add so it's the sum of all these angles so when we add all these three angles together Okay, this will give me 180 degrees. Okay, alright, so this is the theory. Now, this one, uh, let me write first, okay? This one, you don't copy first. Okay, this part, let me write first. Uh. Now, I know that in primary school, uh, what, what you did in primary school was, here, you, in order to look for A, right, what you did was, you take A, and then you write equals to 180 degrees minus... 1, 2, 2. So 180 minus 1, 2, 2 here is actually 58 degrees. Okay? And then this is actually your final answer. Then for, let's say for B, uh, let's say you do this, right? You take 180 degrees, okay? Minus 95, minus 65, okay? So this one is actually equals to 160, so actually 20 degrees, okay? So this is what you did in primary school, okay? However, okay, in secondary school, because we actually look for communication, Okay, actually, we want to encourage communication. So, in secondary school onwards, we need to write down the angle property that we use. Or we, we need to write down the reason why we use this. Okay, so this one is on top of this. Uh. So, um, the reason is because we want it to be a clear... Uh, we want it to be clear explanation. Otherwise, it will be... Let's say if, if you come to more complicated problems, okay... Uh, we may it may lead to uh, like we, we don't know like what property people use okay so we need to write down the properties so that people know what we use now so angles along a straight line is so we need to write down the full thing angles along a straight line okay however to save your life uh, okay we don't have to write down we can use short form to do this so angle so the short form is or the, more likely the abbreviation abbreviation means short form uh. okay the short form is Angles along a straight line, right? So angles, we just put the sign angles along a straight, don't need to write the full thing, just st dot line. Okay, so this one, we need to write this. Okay, so this is the shortest version that uh, we agreed on. Lah. Okay, so we need to write angles along a straight line. Okay, at least we need to write this. 
Okay, so now what we do is we are going to do the same thing like primary school. So we're going to do A is equals to angle A uh, is equals to 180 minus 122. But Y, Y, right? We need to write down angles along a straight line. We need to write this thing over here with the reason now. Okay, so it's a bit different from primary school where we just write this enough. But now in secondary school, we need to write down this reason. So this one is actually equals to 58. Okay, so A is equals to 58. Okay, now same thing for B also. B, uh, same thing. Uh. Okay, B, we have actually 180 degrees minus 95 minus 65. Okay, the reason we need to write are uh, angles along a straight line must write this then this one is equals to so if you're not sure we double check the calculator so 180 minus 95 minus 65 so this is 20 okay so 20 like this over here okay all right so this is the first type of problem the straightforward type now the second type of problem is actually this okay now these three angles because they are on the straight line aob they say aob is a straight line huh? so this is a straight line so all the angles here add up to 180 so this one instead of just doing it manually like primary school uh, you a lot of you will do this 180 minus 100 this is equals to 80 so 5 is, is equals to 80 then 1 is equals to 16 then cannot because this is not clear and we already learned algebra so we need to use the algebra to form the equation okay so what we can do is uh, actually very easy we just need to add this plus this plus this so this is just 2c plus 100 plus 3c these three angles add together is 180 degrees why the reason why is because it is angles along a straight line Okay, now with this one, 2C and 3C add together, this is 5C plus 100, this is 180. Then, to solve this, we minus 100 from this side, minus 100 from this side. So, we have 5C is equals to 80, then divide by 5 on both sides. Okay, this red color means pencil, don't need to write one, okay? So, C is equals to 16. Okay, the value of C is 16. So, like what we did is now in sec 1 and sec 2, right? Secondary school, we need to add the add, we need to add the reason and sometimes we may need to form algebra which makes it easier lah, and clearer presentation. Okay, so we need to move away from a bit of the primary school habits and really need to start to write down formal mathematical sentence. Okay, so this part uh, is actually just angles along a straight line. Okay, next, we are going to look at angles at a point. So, let's say at a point over here, all the angles at a point, because they form one circle, so the sum of the angles at the point is 360 degrees. So, imagine, let's say if this one, now you have three angles over here. Okay, angle A, angle B, angle C, like this. Huh? So, your angle A plus angle B plus angle C all add up together to be 360 degrees so this is the relationship for angles at a point this is like <coughs> almost the same as angles along a straight line this one is just straight line half of the full circle this one is one full circle 360 degrees okay now then what is the short form uh, what is the short form that we can write now uh? so the short form is okay short form okay angles at the point right so angles we just write the symbol angle as angles at a point we just put pt dot okay angles at the point okay so short form don't have to write the full word okay now but if let's say if the question asks for what is the reason then maybe we have to write the full thing okay but like for working wise we just write this one will do okay so practice now too for example this one uh, a58148 uh. so how do we find this actually is we take uh, a uh, angle a is equals to 360 minus 148 minus 58 like what we do in primary school but in secondary school we need to add our uh, angles at a point like this okay so let's calculate 360 minus 148 minus 58 so 154 okay so this one is 154 straightforward okay so this is ar now b 
Okay, B over here, this one, one full circle is 360 degree, but now we need to write down. So this one, what does this square mean over here? Ah? This square means, this one over here means 90 degrees. Okay, so everything add together, 360 degrees. So this one, we need to form the equation. So we have um, here, 4B plus B plus B ah, and plus 90 degrees is equals to 360 degrees. Why? Because this one is angles at a point. Okay, angles at a point. So then let us form our equation. 4B plus B plus B total is 6B plus 90 degrees equals to 360. So now we just need to solve like equation. Okay, make it easier. So plus 90 using your pencil, you minus 90 to balance out. 90 minus 90 will be 0. So we are left with 6B on the left. 30 minus 90, this is 270. Okay, then divide by 6, divide by 6. So your 270 divided by 6, so you get 45. Cannot see, uh, 45. Okay, so this one, your B1B is equals to 45, uh, 45 degrees. Okay, now same thing again, we may need to use algebra. Okay, and we will need the reason. This one must write the reason. Okay, so from now onwards, we really must write the reason. Okay, so um, yeah, so so far what we did for this video is just angles along a straight line, angles at the point. Okay, so two things that we have previously. So what you do next is in the exit pass in page nine, uh, time of words nine and ten. Okay, nine and ten, the exit pass. Please finish up the exit pass. Okay, please finish up the exit pass, and let me do a very quick summary of what's going on over here. Okay. So a summary uh, is just angles. Okay, we've got four types of angles. Okay, we have four types of angles. Actually more than four, I'm missing a straight, but yeah. Here, this kind of angle is called an obtuse angle. Sorry, acute angle. Acute angle. Okay, A-C-U-T-E. Okay, A-C-U-T-E. Okay, sorry, uh, this one a bit. Mm. A C U T E. Okay, acute angle and acute angle is between zero degrees to ninety degrees. Okay. Now this one is exactly ninety degrees. So this one is our right angle. This one is more than ninety all the way to hundred eighty degrees. So this one we call this obtuse angle. Last but not least, this is hundred eighty degrees all the way to three hundred sixty degrees. Okay, doesn't include hundred eighty and three sixty. Ah, this is um reflex angle okay so four types of angles okay the four different names of angles now then when two lines are perpendicular meaning they are 90 degrees from each other okay when they are complementary so let's say we have, we have angle a and angle b if they are complementary then angle a plus angle b is equals to 90 degrees so this one add up to 90 degrees and supplementary means that this when angle a and angle, when you have angle a and b so your angle A plus angle B will be 180 degrees. Okay? So complementary means add to 90. Supplementary means add to 180. So A and B are complementary here. A and B are supplementary here. Then our angle properties. Okay, let's write down now. Uh, so this is angles along. Write down the short form will do. Uh, a straight line. Then the next one is angles at a Point. So we need to write down the reason from secondary school onwards. And what does it really mean is, okay, so here we got angle AOB plus angle BOC plus angle COD. This one is 180 degrees. Add together 180 degrees. Whereas this one, angle AOB plus angle BOC plus angles AOC. So this one all together add up to 360 degrees. So this is actually the summary for this chapter. Lah. The different names of the angle, different types of angles, and two angle properties. Okay, so um, so this is uh, for the first video uh, about angles. Okay, that, that's all for 9.2 angles. And remember to finish up the exit pass over here. Okay, alright, thank you, have a good day.